Yeah, got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah, I homeschooled my kid. Yeah, I'm about to do my my, my daughter too. Well, you hear about that teenager out here in um, Vegas? They, a bunch of yeah. black kids jumped this white kid and killed him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to get, put some restrictions on blacks attending public schools. <laughs> what? We got to put some restrictions on these Negroes. <laughs> You need to put restrictions on all dangerous kids. Especially the black ones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kevin, what's wrong with you? I, don't, I mean, what's That's dangerous right, white kids. What's right, what's right, what's wrong, and what's wrong. You, hey. Two rights don't make a right, and two wrongs don't make a wrong. What? <laughs> I don't know. You should know that. <laughs> you totally screwed that up. I put a George Bush on Two that. wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> I put you it. said two rights don't make a right. <laughs> it, it makes like three rights. Two rights. <laughs> I put Four a rights. George Bush on that one. Remember George Bush? <laughs> you should fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me. You can't fool me again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah. But anyway, it was this kid. He claims he was... Yeah, you know what I meant by that? What I meant by that, let me just clarify, because people are going to use that video and say I'm a racist against black people. Which I want to remind you that I'm black. Only 54% though. <laughs> what I was trying to say, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, a lot of black people get a lot of passes because they black nowadays. Because in the fear of being called a racist. That's why I meant when I said Negroes need extra restrictions. We want to make sure that these, some boundaries. these Negroes need some boundaries. Right? Need, need to, to keep these Negroes on a tight leash, is what you're saying. Put these Negroes on a tight leash, put an edge to them. You know what I'm saying? Put an edge. Yeah, create an edge. So, a a, a boundary. A boundary they can't cross. Once you cross that line, you've been expelled. But a lot of people, they, they want to um, punish black kids. Man. Yeah, yeah. And I know these kids. For something like that to happen with that one kid out here, I know those ki kids are troublemakers. Yeah. So let's go to this video. He, the kid claims self-defense. Check this out. Really? There will be no classes today at Southeast Raleigh High School. Students, staff, and families will be taking the time to process an unthinkable incident. There is a stabbing that happened less than 24 hours ago. One student is dead. Another is in the hospital. A third is charged with murder. WRL's Kelsey Coffey is live outside the school this morning. Kelsey, school leaders are offering resources to students who feel they need support after what happened there. Jeff, grief counseling will be available for students here at Southeast Raleigh High School after that tragic day. Take a look at this video that was sent to WREL of the incident. It shows dozens of students in the hallway. You can see one student throwing a punch. We're stopping the video before the student in the red hoodie pulls out a knife. The fight then spills into the gym where more students get involved. We pause the video again when the student the in the red hoodie there, starts swinging the knife. Sherelle McLaughlin says it was her 14-year-old son who had the knife. He's now charged with murder. She claims he was bullied at school before this incident. Oh, well, he's bullied. And I called the school, and I informed them of that that morning because I told them that something may happen. I don't know. And we're working to find out the names of the student who was killed and the student who was injured. And coming up in the next half hour, you'll hear from a mother of a student who goes here, and she says she's afraid to send her daughter to school. Kelsey Coffey, WRL News, live in Raleigh. I've been validated. What I just said earlier, I've been firm, I've been legitimized. That kid, that was bullying that, that kid, mm -hmm. he threw the first punch, and he's the one that lost his life, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, he was defending himself. But the uh, mother went to the school. Think that's self Shut up! The mother went to the school. Said something gonna happen. My my boy's been bullied. He no, no, he's no. been so bullied, Keith. No, no, no. He thought he had to take action. It's only he had to take a weapon to school. No, no, no. She said this after the fact. She said she already went to see, the school. See, 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 you see, you letting these people. That's a ruse right there. No, it ain't. That's a ploy to gain. Shut up. Let me do some no, talking. She said that's, she went hey, to the schoolhouse. She hey, went to the schoolhouse. Then her boy. Hey, you know this is a two-man show? Oh, I know it's a two-man show. Well, shut the I'm just trying to give you my opinion. All right, let me give you mine. You heard the bitch, right? <laughs> you heard her? You heard her, right? I heard her. The Negro said the kid's been bullied. <laughs> right? That's what she said, right? Negro is bullying her child. Kevin. Okay, I got it. School didn't do nothing. What's the child to do? 
Kevin. Okay, so Just go to school and get his ass. Walked. Hey, I'm I'm walking out of here. Well, go <laughs> get out of here. Go and walk out of here. I don't need you. <laughs> Obviously, I can't even say nothing. He was defending himself. I don't condone. Hey, Kevin. Hey, shut up. I don't condone him taking. I don't condone him taking a knife to school. That's not self-defense. Wayne, the kid threw a punch. Okay, he, he throws a punch. Whooped. Okay, throw a punch. Throw a punch. So throw you punch. throw a punch. Throw a punch. Hey, throw, Kevin. Throw a punch. Throw a punch. I ain't throwing nothing. You ain't gotta hit me, man. I just act no, like you're I, I, no. You need to hear what I'm saying, Kevin. Stop! Don't hit me. Slice. <laughs> that's Kevin. self-defense. Okay, look. No, that's not. What? If I come up to you and I punch you in the face and you put a knife in and stab me, that's not self-defense. But where are you living? What are you, liberal keep today? That's deadly force with your uh, with the knife. The deadly force with your I can punch you, you hit your head, bam, you're out, you're gone. You hit your temple, you're dead. You never seen that on forensic files? Hit her. Hey, I ain't uh, mean to kill him. I hit her, she BAM! Brain damage. Hey Kim, turn face the camera. You're making me uncomfortable. Got your crotch all in my face. No, but I don't think Am I right or wrong? Let me say something and I'll tell no, you. No, no, no. Before we move forward, let's come to an agreement. <laughs> let's come to consensus. Off of let's come to a consensus before we take this conversation further. <laughs> okay? If I hit you, that's, that's a deadly force. I can kill you. I hit you right there, brain damage. You're a vegetable. Or, yeah, that's unlikely. It's un can it happen? It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Me, you but I increase Me, your you probability fight. of death if I bring a knife into a, I bring a knife into a fist fight. Well, y'all can say that with all. Uh, uh, here's slice. You're done. I, I can say that about all. A punch. I can say that about uh, a person carrying a concealed weapon, a, a firearm. I don't know what the hell you talking about. What you talking about? Well, just let me say something. Suck it. I'm right. You hey wrong. man, this video crazy. I'm about to start this video. Off we ain't starting this off. We got too much skin in the game. All right, Kevin. You see what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Now you gonna see what I'm saying. All right. Just want to make sure we reach the consensus. They want to progress forward at a stalemate, you know? I don't think he should have spit it out. Brought a knife. I don't think he should have either. If he really wanted to use that as self defense, mm -hmm. well, I don't know, man. If I'm if I feel like I when I go to school, I gotta carry a knife, I'm not going to school. I'm gonna say, Mama, I ain't going to school. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. I told you I ain't going. <laughs> These motherfucking niggas is beating my ass every day. You take your ass to school. <laughs> If I feel like I gotta go to school with a knife, yeah. I'm not going to school. Yeah, that's that's me too. But he's pride with, he, you know, he's just more of a man than us. We chicken. No, that's not his ass. Kill somebody, he going to jail. That is not self defense. A uh, fist fight, you bring out a knife. Yeah, that's just self defense. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm gonna ask the producer. You think that's a damn self defense? Yeah, it is. M not in a public school, <laughs> <laughs> because they have laws to restrict your right to protect yourself. Am I right or wrong? Give me an amen on that. I just kill Keith. He ain't got shit to say. Because I got him. I won the argument. How'd you win? Okay, let me put it to you like this, liberal Keith. I go to the movies, right? I'm liberal now. Yeah, I go to the movies, right? Uh -huh. I'm going to go look at Passion of the Christ, right? Couple of niggas coming out. <laughs> Causing problems. I said, look, hey, Negro, I'm trying to enjoy the movie. I'm trying to learn about Jesus. Can you shut your black ass up? <laughs> <laughs> right? He gets up, he's throwing say, man, stop, man, stop. And he, he bam, oh, bam. He's messing me up. My face is bloodied. I, my lips are swollen. He's like Rocky Balboa. I look like Mr. Rocky. T messing you up. Yeah, yeah. I pull out a nice slice. <laughs> <laughs> That's self -defense. That's first thing he's going to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. No need. I cut you wide open, Negro. <laughs> Just go ahead and let it bleed, Negro. <laughs> 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 You ain't humped it up, you bitch. <laughs> you ain't putting your yeah. right <laughs> That's just a damn nothing rhyme, Negro. You I suppose it, it, I guess it is self-defense self in a way, but I just think, I think self-defense, instead of you pulling out a knife, you retaliate with a, a punch. Yeah. That's, that's, you don't need to. Now, if he got a knife, you put, oh, shit, he's got a knife, I'll pull mine out. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, let me break it down to you. Let me break it down for you one more time, Mr. Liberal Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Progressive Keith here today. Look here. What was I'm I going to say? I'm conservative. What are you talking about? That's... No, man. He has a right to defend himself. Look. Get yeah, with his fist. No, listen. No. Now, if he pulls out a knife, no. he can so, pull out his knife. So I'm walking down the street. Some white dude comes about, challenge you to a duel, Negro. <laughs> I got to fight him? I'm obligated to fight him? 
No? Of course not. I'm gonna pull out my knife, I'm gonna shake his ass. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like you said, you wouldn't go to school. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But an education is the most important <laughs> thing you need in life. So not only do you not want him to protect himself, but he don't want you don't want that Negro to get an education. That nickel's going to school. No, he's trying to get his education. No, you twist my words. These are bothering him, and he had to cut him. He was minding his own business. You saw the video. He's minding his own business. He's trying to go to class, trying to get him education. Negro comes up, bullying him. Mm-hmm. It's self defense, man. <clears throat> it's it's self defense. This is something for uh, law and order. So it's be you. The only thing, only charge should be brought against him, um, is you know. Bring that knife. As far as him murdering, I don't think there's murder. It's self-defense. What? What you got? Produce. See, we, this damn good producer we got here. <laughs> carry a knife for personal. Some people who are not willing to carry a gun will carry a knife, thinking it's a less uh, legally serious option. While it may fit different carry laws, using a knife in self-defense is still generally considered lethal force in the same way as deploying a firearm. See, plus he's a kid too. He probably don't. Understand oh, his ass going to jail. I don't think he should go to jail. Well, th- well, the law is clear. Okay, hey Kevin, what? You need to just shut up. So and what are you supposed to, to do? Just let the Negro kick? He's supposed to just fight back. No man, not with a knife. Why he he right there got the knife. The dumb other, the other Negro who's stupid. Yeah. He over there like not even seeing that nigga looking at you sideways like this. Wait, but when a nigga looking at you sideways like this, he got something. Hey, that nigga got something. He looking at your ass. He's like, yeah, come on over here. Uh, yeah, come on over. I got something for your black ass. I got something for your black ass, boy. I'm looking at your ass sideways. Hey, Keith, look. Why do we carry a gun? Oh, you swing at me, nigga. Wow. <laughs> Keith, why do we carry a gun? So we don't have to fight. You're, you're pretty much saying that kid, because he threw up his dukes and wanted to fight, he's obligated to fight. He's not obligated to fight that kid. Only thing he's obligated is to protect himself, which he did with a knife. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. He probably ain't got no daddy. He more like he ain't got no daddy because Hey, man, why are you bring this into this? Well, think about it. Close your eyes, Keith. You're 14. <laughs> he always throwing no. niggas under the bus. No, 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 I'm saying. You see, his mom, his dad wasn't there. So I'm thinking he's just, he, he just has mom, right? Let me paint a picture for you. He, you're 14, 15. You're going to a school with a bunch of savage Negroes. Gang members, they whooping your ass every day. You yeah. trying your best to stay out of trouble, get an education, make some of your life, and get the hell up out of there. And not shut up. And you trying to get up out of that jungle, right? Yeah. You ain't got no daddy. You just yeah. got a mama. Yeah. What you gonna do? And not to mention, you heard about the like yeah. that white kid in Las Vegas that got beat up by a bunch of kids. Yeah. So I see what you're saying. All right, I see. I, I understand. think it's self-defense. You want, you agree with me now? Yeah, it just looks bad when it's a black kid, though, you know? It does look bad when a black kid. <laughs> because, <laughs> because but look, to make things better, imagine that kid being a white kid. And there's a bunch like of Like in that movie, Time to Kill. Close your eyes. <laughs> now imagine that Negro is a white kid. <laughs> yeah. Then a white woman's like, oh, my God, <laughs> this is horrible. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. That's self-defense, kid. Not because he broke the law of taking a weapon on school property. But what other choice do you have if you're telling the school that you're being bullied? Okay, I get it. Let me say something. See, see, see. Like the reason why I say it looks worse for for a black kid because you see the niggas doing it all the time because of FBI statistics. I mean, black people we have a stereotype for a reason. Yeah, we're not real. Right. We're 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 like not like. You know what you feel that way? Hey, hey, Kevin. God. <laughs> We you cannot a, talk, man. I'm, I'm just, trying to make a point. Yeah, I know you're trying. I'm trying to. No, add but why point. you? No, you ain't adding my shit. I'm making my own points. <laughs> See, I got that Negro in. I would have stabbed this nigga right now. <laughs> can't help it, but you got that Negro blood. In. <laughs> I can't. It's fighting me. I'm gonna go rob me a nigga today. Ain't hey, well, fuck it. Show's over. No, it's just a stigma. Around the show me. is over. <laughs> Hey, our giveaway's almost up. Couple days left. You bag like, well, I ain't gonna say that. Another nigga joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go to fishforhawkstwins.com. Uh. Hey, what you call me up on that thing? What you call down to that Negro tongue? I act right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go to fishforhawkstwins.com. Dot Tom. <laughs> Hey, our giveaway's almost up. Couple days, though. 
giving away a full Bronco and 10,000 cash. This is no ordinary Bronco. Uh, some nigga in Vegas got it and put a bunch of rims and paint on it. It's nice. No, I was probably a white guy. Got to make people want to buy it. They ain't buying no nigga. <laughs> no, nah, it's a show truck in Vegas. It was it's, a beautiful, a, it's a beautiful Bronco. Yeah, yeah. So um, go to fishallartwins.com. Anything you buy on the site gets you automatically into the win. Yeah.